I've been married for a long time. Uh, we the first one of the first years of our marriage was spent in Paris. Uh, she was on a Fulbright teacher exchange, and uh, it's a great way. Recommend uh, everybody start the marriage out with a year in Paris. This is us on the tallest mountain in Germany uh, a couple of years ago. I spent uh, a year and a half in Athens, Greece. I was I lived for a year as a German student in southern Germany, and then another year uh, on a Fulbright uh, in central, what is now central Germany. And well, I lived there the year the wall came down and had a, an exchange with an East German school. Uh, and then a lot of trips uh, because of my wife's interest and in the friends that we've developed, a different Fulbright exchange uh, in 2007 with uh, an English head teacher over there. And we remain the best of friends and talk every day. Uh, this is uh, a model of a city oh, wow. and where I lived, uh, I second year in Germany. Uh, the important thing is, this is Göttingen. It's a little picture of me on top of the uh, church tower there. Uh, I lived in that church tower. Good shop teacher, um, Mr. Fredrickson, uh, had us uh, make real projects. And so the grandmother clock was my senior project. Um, and everybody in the class wasn't I was somehow special. Everybody in the class either made a, a, a grandmother clock or a roll top desk. And he was just an unbelievable craftsman, had a lifelong impact on me. So I continued to make things. Uh, during the pandemic, I had to do something with my hands and my mind. Mm -hmm. So I made a ton of spoons for friends and family. Um, another thing, this was actually my wife's idea, was to make these, which uh, these uh, go together and they rest the top wine bottles. Mm -hmm. You put lights in the wine bottles and they're like um, charcuterie uh, boards, if you will. This is one of the most important things in my office to me professionally. It also connects with me personally. This was done by a student named Shelley Kinjorski. I had no idea that she was going to have this kind of an impact on me. And what's important about it is that uh, Shelly had, had her in two different classes, in a German class and an English class, and I could not get her to produce anything in the English class. And I changed the assessment <clears throat> from pencil and paper to uh, we're going to make a drawing of uh, four characteristics of Marc Chagall's art, this uh, unit that we were studying. Bold, bright colors, unusual size relationships, images from your childhood uh, or your uh, place that you grew up. And then one other thing I can't recall. And uh, out came the crayons, pencils, paper, and she produced this instantly. <clears throat> and uh, as soon as I saw it, I said, you know, I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna do something with it. The, the upshot of it is when you change the assessment, you have a whole different group of kids that look like the stars uh, in your classroom. And so there, there are way, typical ways of assessing students, pencil and paper. Uh, this was a different type of assessment that she was the star of the class without any question on this. And I've seen this over and over and over again throughout the course of my career. This is one of many examples where kids just absolutely flabbergasted me because they have so many unique abilities. So this is the centerpiece professionally of my office. Well, I'd say the, the first thing that the pandemic uh, has taught is, and, and it's something that no educator got in the job to do, which is uh, make decisions that you know are uh, not going to please everybody and uh, potentially are harmful to a group of kids. And uh, there's no decision that was you know, really, really a clear, boy, there's no question you need to do this. Uh, the, uh, one of the things uh, also um, is the, the need for people to work just incredibly hard in an open-ended way and do the best that they can with the information that's available to them. Uh, Deerfield's done a spectacular job with that and I'm incredibly impressed with the state of the district. I freue mich hier zu sein. I'm happy to be here.